and um, good morning. I'm a little late getting on here, you all. I am. So I was looking at some data over on the iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. It's one of my favorite places to go. And um, years ago, I used to study all their data. Forgot all about it. Um, got out of the habit of looking at it, you all. But this is strange. It's like a magnetic triangle vortex, like a portal was opened up on the sun. I don't think these magnetic lines should be going like they're going like that. How, how am I going to do my hand? They shouldn't be going the way that they're going and connecting to where they form a triangle uh, at the sun because that would be an enormous, enormous vortex. We know that we have the Bermuda Triangle and there's other areas where there's like a magnetic anomaly. Uh, people lose their compass. They, they, they can't find their direction. Their compasses get mixed up, and now we have this, um, you see, we're looking at the coronal, solar coronal magnetic field. Right here, you all. So this, this is, um, this is a weird product. I have never been to it before at all. I haven't, but this doesn't look normal, and triangle vortexes, portals, they're like portals, and you disappear, or you allow stuff in. That's what happens. I'm trying to get over here on my cell phone, you all. If you're just tuning in to see if I can um, see what you're doing. We're going to look at that product. I, I don't know much about it, but I, I know that it looks like it's formed a portal. And why do you got all these straight things going straight down the way that they are? Um, let me see if I can hop over here, you all. You just be patient, Machina, honey. Because, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, let me do this. Um, hello there, Apple Brooks, honey. Hello, everyone. So we're going to look at it. I'm going to show you some. I, I did pre-record it. That's what I've been doing. I've been sitting here at my computer and um, doing some recording. We're going to go. We can look at the one thing I did record. Let me cancel that, Gina, honey. Let's go over here and look at this one screen right here, if I can, of this. Uh, I went all. The, I try to go back at different times to see the different time stamps of it. Look how, so you can see what it's supposed to look like. It's like solar coronal magnetic fields. See, look at them. They look all nice and puffy. See those three things right there, you all? So something was happening back then, too. Like, like why do you got... I want to get back to that other one. Why do you got three... Why do you got these? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. How can we have perfectly straight magnetic field lines or coronal holes... How can they be like that? That is abnormal. It is. Uh, that shouldn't be happening. At least I don't think it is. Um, although I don't have an official degree or anything like that, but I can make an observation with my physical eyes and say that doesn't look normal to me. It doesn't. See, this is from 2015. And look how... Well, I stuck that in there. <laughs> I thought, look, that looks like a, a portal. See, look how this is wobbling. It is it is going crazy, you all. Look at this. I'm going to go slow. Look how these black, um, what are these, corona holes are supposed to be wiggling all around. Sometimes they look like great big gigantic tentacles reaching down um, is what they look like. Thank you, uh, Nancy Drew. They do. They look like big tentacles moving down. And that particular product was going like that. Mm, I'm going to try to see if we can get back to this one. See, now look, we got another triangle that looks like it's trying to form down here, too. Um, and this is 2018, and we know our world has changed a lot. It's like the darkness was ever encroaching uh, in our world. Uh, uh, do we just see that? Look, look at the, look how wild they've swung around. Helmet streamer belt, whatever a helmet streamer belt is. Um, I don't know. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. How can they do that? Really, how can they do that? I want to try to see if I can go a tad bit slow. Because it went really fast, is what happened. Um, Billy Joe, honey, I don't um, really go to anything unless I'm drawn to it. I got my own work that I'm doing that I focus on, and i just led by the Spirit. So look at this, you all. Boom. It looks like there's a triangle right there, too. Um, 
just like this. See how wild that looks? I think they were trying to, look at this, like pointed straight down. That's almost a perfect powerful one. You got the straight lines going here. That's on the 22nd. See, that's when I first noticed it. Uh, uh, April the 22nd of 2018. And CERN was doing experiments back then. Having their meetings. And they started talking about the dark matter and stuff, you all. Is what they did. Look at that. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. Um, triangular, like vortexes. I don't know how that can be accomplished. I have no idea. That is a big feat of science. Look at that. Boom. Now this has got it on all ends. Look at this. Like one here, one here, one here. That's almost like a 3D triangle if you ask me. Yeah. And that's what it looked like. Like a 3D triangle. Uh, thank you, Nancy Drew. Let's look at this. See, and they don't, they don't open up all the time. I've got different, um, this is in April of 2018. That thing was moving wildly. The data was all over. See, look how, look how strange that looks like a living entity, you are. How these are wiggling around, even though it looks like, um, supposed to be the coronal holes, but they got feelers coming out of them. And this right here is not straight either. Look at that. It's crooked. Um... It's like different look like ships coming out really it does but I'm sure it isn't I don't know why that's so crooked that is wild this is the one the wildest I thought that is so weird looking I could sit and stare at it over and over because of how it looks it doesn't look real swinging see it's all smooth it's just like like a jellyfish in the water now look how it's laying down like that that's um june the first of 2020 everything's just laying down that is nothing's moving on it how can that be you all it's like a dead entity um Wild. And then it's swinging all over the place. We're going to go back to that. Um, we're going to go over to the iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov and um, look at that as soon as this is done. Okay, that is done, y'all. Let me put this back to me. Um, okay, I see this. I do. I'm going to come over here to the um, solar coronal. See, look at that. This is today. This is July the 26th of 2020. Let's push this button, you all. Let me put this to me because it's kind of blinking. Um, watch it. So we're, it starts in March. Let's, let's show you where it starts. It starts on um, February the 25th of 2021 because um, I can go back a lot further. Let me go back. I think I can. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to stop it right now. I just want to. I just want to play it. it. Starts on February the 25th. I've only went back 30 frames. It looks all kind of normal. Now we're into March of 20, 2021. There's a, like a big break. Right here is the break. Let's see it. Um, March the 3rd. And then it doesn't start back up until July the 21st. And then boom. And, and then CERN is like full throttle. Can you see those vortexes? Look at it. It's, it's lasting a long time. It really is. Because you've got that forming. That triangle has, it's forming um, right here. It started on the 22nd. It is like a triangle vortex. The 22nd, 23rd, still going 24th, 24th, um, 25th, 
22nd, 26th. What if you all, this is really strange. I'm going to say this. What if their goal is to get these straight lines going all the way around till they have a perfect triangle like pyramid shape up there with the um with that uh mag magnetics you may say gina there's oopsie i don't want to tip something over gina um let's look at this Energy vortexes, Alaska triangle vortexes in Alaska, Alaska vortex map. So these triangles, there's something about triangles, you all. And then we got this triangle right here with the magnetic fields, coronal holes, whatever you want to call it, on the sun. They've got a model for this stuff. Why do they got a model for it? Um, see, here's a magnetic uh, anomaly caused by variations in Earth's materials and structures, they say, but they got a vortex there. There's something about it. You, does these magnets pull things in? Uh, the Bermuda Triangle in Alaska. So this is just something to um, think about. It really is. Energy vortexes and triangles, the forest dark. Let me put this. I'm just going to put I'm going to put all these links here that I've put on here so you all can see them because I shouldn't um, be showing something without the links because you may want to go back and you want to look at it yourself. So we're going to document everything. Um, we looked at that. Um, I'm on here. I'm going to look at that. We're going to we're going to put this search right here also. That way there's no mistaking about what we looked at at all. Nothing. So um, I wanted to see this. WordPress, whatever this is, you all, you all just hang in there. Um, no, I'm not taking your cookies, so I'm not even going to look. You know, that gets me. That really gets me. When you go to websites and they are more interested in gathering the data from you than you looking at their data, they don't want you to look unless they can. You can give them something in return. No, that that ain't how it works. You don't you don't share expecting something in return from the people you don't do that like give me give me give me give 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 it's like somebody said i want your money give me money 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 donate to me i need this you can donate i don't like that you all no i don't like to ask anything from anybody okay i don't that's not right you don't you don't know that's wrong it's it's so wrong let me look at this vortex maps um triangles on from the mountains and stuff like that so I'm not going to look at these because this right here, that's nothing to look at, you all. We can just look at these images of all these vortexes that are going on. And um, look, there's a telepathic mental grid. Let me put this on here. This is the only other thing I'm going to put on here, and I'm going to be getting off of here very fast with that. Um, boom. There we go. So I think we, we got this, you all. So you can look at this. You can. I think, where did I go? I think I opened up a CERN. I got here a CERN. Let's see. See, um, April the 9th through the 11th. Dark matter at the dawn of the discovery. They, they do got it at the dawn of discovery. And I'll just put one of these in here. Thank you, Nauruka. Um, I'll just put one of these in here. I did want to show one other thing about the CERN, how I was um, clicking through it. What was it? Because they're going to, um, did I do this? I've already done that. I've already done that. There was something else that I clicked into about it. Look at this. Traffic disruption around CERN's gate B. Um, they've got State of Geneva Transport. Um, the Higgs discovery media coverage and the first vortex was around that time you all so I didn't find anything right there I didn't um, the thing was I was going to say about CERN how, you know how they said they went ramped up to full power which they did they ramped up to full power but um, 
come 2025, they're really going to ramp it up. They said by tr- in 2025, there's going to be even more upgrades. And they're going to go, um, something, I think they said luminosity. They said something about that. If I had it in my history, I would, I would tell you that. But I, I can't find it because I was, um, mm, I really would like to see that. They share the highlights. I could find that what they've got mm. let, let me look at this let's look at this I don't know if it was this one right here but if they are to literally ramp up even more come 2025 then we are in for a show a big time show that's a pretty graphic right there look LHC graphic uh, highlights share highlights for 2018 look how nice and colorful this graphic is they got going on you see they got all these magnetic fields and stuff these um particle showers going on they got some straight lines too and you know remember they said that they could um if concerning the lightning strikes it's it's plasma if uh, they can pinpoint straight line data straight line lightning strikes that's a sign of dark matter uh, in the lightning clumps of it in the straight line so they want it it's a hot universe let me try to see if we can find this 2012 stas- testing the standards so they want those yeah they're looking for the the corpse um, the hypothetical particles known as the lepto quarks they are thought to be hybrids hybrids of leptons and quartz and um, hybrids they want uh, many different signatures of dark matter and supersymmetry. Um, the mystery of matter and antimatter. They really do. They want it, you all. They're looking forward to it. Here it is. What I, this is exactly what I was saying. I just want to read this right here. The LHC run 2 came to an end earlier this month, and the second long shutdown LS2 has begun. This is from 2018. This does not mean that the collaborations go into hibernation. Indeed, the wealth of data already gathered will take many more months to be fully exposed. For those who said here, thank you, Alina um, Ronita. For those who say, CERN's been shut down. It's in the hands of the good guys. No, no. It's, they're not going to give up power that easy. Why do you want to throw away all your data and let somebody have it like that? No, they're not. This is much deeper. Don't buy into that, you all. Don't buy into it that it's in the good hands now. Don't buy into that. It's not. Um, they've got a. They got a mission. This is worldwide. You got too many um, high-level corporations and entity, major dark entities involved in this. And um, that's okay. Let me look at this. So um, they gathered. Will take many more months. All the detectors will undergo transformations of their own, while collisions are suspended over the course of LS2. The LHCB detector has fulfilled its original mandate. It was mandated to do something, and it will soon be overhauled completely, with every major subsystem getting upgraded or replaced. Alice will be upgrading most of its subdetectors. Mind you, all this is. This is from 2018. They told you what they did. They upgraded uh, most of their sub detectors, aiming for great precision in measuring particle tracks. CMS and Atlas will receive similar major modification as they prepare for the restart of the LHC in 2021. So it it restarted in 2021. Thank you, Sky Metal, and eventually higher luminosities from the high luminosity LHC in 2025. These upgrades will ensure that the LHC experiments can keep recording excellent data in the forthcoming runs and continue their searches for new discovery. So in 2025, um, I, I, I want to make sure I put this in here because this was the this is the one that I was I'm looking at right here you know it was because they got vortexes that are created on the Sun triangular vortexes and vortexes um, leave openings for something to come through and um, I don't think we should let our guard down just because you read it in the news 
or read it on some channel or some internet thing because of hearsay. No, don't you let your guard down at all. Don't do it. Um, it aims to project to crank up its performance. Look, the high luminosity, large uh, hadron collider project aims to crank up the performance of the LHC in order to increase the potential of discoveries after 2029. And that one rumor said they could uh, they want to open the gates of hell well they they do want to find dark matter they want to lure it here the antimatter they want to lure something through the black hole is what they want to do they say they want to draw it out they want to open up parallel worlds um the high luminosity should be operational from the beginning of 2029 and it will allow physicists to study known mechanism in greater detail such as the Higgs boson and observe rare new phenomena that might reveal themselves. Look, they want to re observe rare new phenomena that might reveal themselves. So this phenomena is rare and it sounds like it's an entity that might reveal themselves. It sounds like entities who may reveal themselves. Um, 15 million Bassans in the year compared to around 3 million. Um, so they got the first phase, they got the 2014, they got the 2017, 2018. Look, the civil engineering work started. 44 institutions in 20 countries, various European countries, among which Italy, Spain, Sweden, United Kingdom, number of CERNs, members, all of these. Um, so they got a lot of work that they're putting on. They really do. But you are, what happens in 2029? Oh, they got it. They got it. Let me just put this on here. And I'm not going to read too much into it, but I'm just supposed to be focusing on the triangle vortexes that are created on the sun. And it's happening right now. There's a port vortex that's open on the sun if you're just tuned in. Um, and here's their timestamp. Look at this. It goes, the schedule. Um, this is the shutdown. So this is, I guess this is a shutdown. Uh, the LS3 start date extended year um, scheduled is now scheduled. Thank you, Ozark Mike. Is now scheduled to take place in 24 and 25. And this will last for 17 weeks. While the two preceding yets will be the standard length of 13 weeks beam to beam. Uh, preferred scenarios and duration of ion runs during run 3 remain to be formally confirmed. Are likely to be scheduled for four week long periods always at the end of the year um, the injector shutdown of ls3 at this moment is still under discussion the baseline assumption is to start it in parallel with the lhc in 2026 they got a lot of stuff going on you all look at that they got a lot of things that are going to be taking place with this um thing so they're not going nowhere. They're not. And in the meantime, we have a, a magnetic triangle vortex that is happening on the sun right now. It is. You can see it right here. We can, um, uh, now I, now I, let me just play it. It's going to be blinking because we messed from it, you all. Uh, good morning. See that triangle just stuck there right there on the Sun look at the lines they're straight they're going straight down uh, from there and if we were to go back 300 frames this is this is as far as you can go back let me push this to me you'll see that that doesn't occur until like July um, justice year Sky metal. I hope there's justice, but I hope it's not a bad justice. I really do. Um, in the meantime, we just got to watch. So we can look at this, you all. It's uh, from January the 1st of 2021. You don't see no triangles forming at all. It's not till July after, what, um, almost a year shut down, a little over a year shut down. It comes back up at over a year shut down right there. There it comes on the 22nd, and it's still ongoing. It's like that triangular vortex. And I, I, I said that uh, what if 
their go is to have this completely forming a pyramid thing. There's no telling what it could do. There really isn't no telling. So vortexes let in, uh, triangle vortexes. I'm no um, um, let in um, um, signs you're near their spiritual paranormal um, paranormal this Bermuda Triangle is a por paranormal vortex <sighs> energy magnetic anomaly and um, it's an area in the northwestern Atlantic Ocean in which a number of aircraft surface vessels are alleged to have disappeared in mysterious circumstances which fall beyond the boundaries of human error, pirates, equipment failure, or natural disasters. Um, vortex paths in a geodesic triangle download the... I don't know what that means. I really don't. Um, I'm going to put this right here this search since I did it. We put it in here so they can you might look further in it you all. No, I, I'm going to back that up. I want to put that one in there and I want to I want to click into this vortex right here. And I, I want to put this in here right here. Put this vortex right here. Boom, now you can see everything. Now let's look at this. It's a um, vortex paths in geodesic triangle, um, electrostatics, vortex dynamics, construction, constructing them. Um, the theorem shows that such domains can conformally be mapped to the upper hemisphere and stuff like that. Whatever that means, I don't know what any of that means. I don't, and I'm going to hop off of here because I think I am done. Is what I, I'm done talking about it. I am. Um, oh, Jenna Edmund. Um, well, I I am um, spontaneous. I do spontaneous live um, live streams, and I don't up, I don't do what they tell me to do. Send us our, your live stream ahead of time your live stream recording before you go live I don't know I don't know how that's possible for me to be in the present moment of time uh, doing a live stream that's pre-recorded you I wouldn't be able to interact at all like that uh, you're also very welcome yeah um, and thank you all for your comments on here um, hacking the truth we I don't know what you're talking about is nobody interested in here whatever your topic was that triangle CERN the moon and the Sun yes that I'm sure it all goes um, into it that's right and that was the gate the gateway was opened um, CERN the triangle and the Sun and then CERN like the great the big ring the great big ring one ring to rule them all and in the darkness bind them um, Scorpio moon Pisces thank you um, yeah, Joe. Hello, Joe. Um, Isaac, Sky Metal, Dave Edwards, Robin Bond, um, Tanya Womack. M reminds me of, is it Leanne Womack, the country singer? Um, Christine Mott, Susan B., Apple Brooks, honey. Thank you all for your donations on here. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I like to share and... Um, it's interesting whatever pops in my mind at times um, but that's okay you all we got something going on with these vortexes and uh, they're they're portals they are portals uh, to the paranormal T honey are you on here talking to Michelle uh, <laughs> that's right uh, what can be bound on earth can be bound in heaven and loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven I don't do no emails because I have uh, hate groups that don't like me and they sent all of my emails to pornography sites and everything. That's what they did to me when I first started and they kept it up and they went after everybody in my family. They went to the church websites where they go to church and they 
they got on there and started bad mouthing me. They made appointments for me at um, uh, strategic, uh, prestigious um, clinics and stuff like that. These people, but that's okay. They did their best. I want you to know these these haters did their best to stop me, and you know what I did? Ignored them, and here I am today. You don't get nowhere in life attacking people. Uh, because that's negative energy. Um, if, if people would learn that, you know, being cruel to other, being mean to others, it only brings that back to you. If they only knew that the energy they give out comes back to them, they wouldn't do it. Perhaps they don't care. I think love is the way. Okay, love is the way. You ignore the people like that. Keep going forward. Well, that's... Uh, that's why I don't give out my email. I don't. And to be quite honest, I wouldn't even be able to have time to look at it. I think I have now around 38,000 emails that I don't look at. I don't. Um, and thousands of messages on my social medias I can't get to. Um, so don't take it personally. Don't do it. That's right. Um, that's right, you all. That's right. I don't listen to them. Um, and um, I haven't forgot I, I I can't say that I forgive them for what they did. I can't uh, because I don't. I don't forgive them for what they did to me. You may say, Gina, that's not nice. Well, I don't. I don't forgive them because of their evil nature. And I will not forget it. I have not forget it. And there's a lot of um, YouTubers who have great big followings. But theirs aren't, theirs aren't as big as mine now is. And I don't have nothing to do with them. I don't because of how they did me how they certain groups of YouTube channel followings ganged up on me the mouthpiece the people who ran the channels forget it that's why I don't associate with a lot of people and it may sound cruel it may but I don't No, I can't they hurt me and I'm not getting over it I move beyond it but I haven't forgot it how about that I can move beyond the hurt but I'm not going to forget what you did to me I'm not um, Oh, Tina, honey, they didn't get me down. Um, they didn't. Um, they're probably going to get mad hearing me say this, but I ignore them. I do. I don't pay them no attention at all anymore. Um, that's right. Yes. Um, Susan, honey, you don't know the half of it. You don't. That's okay. They didn't. No weapon formed against the weapon may be formed, but it shall not prosper. It shan't. It won't prosper. So yeah. So the weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Um, yeah. And um, that's okay. Look at my wild hair. It reminds me of Mrs. Frizzle. It was like a Saturday morning um, show. I think it was the Magic School Bus. She was a wild-looking woman, Mrs. Frizzle. And the magic school bus. I loved watching that. I did. Miss Frizzle. And the magic school bus. <laughs> oh, that was funny, you all. You made me look at that. I want to see Miss Frizzle and the magic school bus. Well, her hair don't look too wild. It don't look wild, but it was it was funny. She would get on there and she'd take her students and they'd go everywhere on the magic school bus. That was great. Yeah. I like little educational things is what I like. I think they, they make me happy and smile. They do. That Joe, honey, that's okay. You can be a nerd. That's right. You can. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Oh, you're trying to imagine me with long hair. Um, well, I'll tell you what. Um... I don't have no pictures of me on here with long hair, but I, um, I had it, I had it down to my back until I got cancer, diagnosed with cancer back in 2025, and, um, my hair got cut off about that much, because it was halfway down my back, um, but that's okay. I persevered through that, too. I did, and uh, I'm still alive today, um... Somebody wants to see somebody, Scorpio Pisces. Yeah. Um, Scorpio Pisces. 
Yeah, that's right. I am going to go. Yeah, we got some positive going on here. We do. That's right. Um, it's okay. It is all right, you all. So I am almost um, 2005. Um, and now we're 2022. That's how long. That's right, you all. We can do it. We can. Uh, so I am going to go, you all. Yeah, Cassidy, honey, is a little bit too late, but that's okay. You know, you can, you can watch the rerun, Cassidy. That's right. You can do it. Yes, I'm going to go, and I'm going to quit talking, you all. Um, so with that being said, it looks like, well, there is a triangle vortex that is on the sun, and it started on the 22nd. It's been going. It's still going. Um, it's a magnetic triangle vortex, and we know what happens with vortexes. Something comes through. You open up, um, you open yourself up to the paranormal and the unexplained. You do. Uh, but that's all right, you all. We got it right here. And they got those lines going straight down, and that doesn't look normal. I wonder if their end goal is to form a pyramidal, pyramid with all these straight lines and have like a 3D structure up there. Who knows? So with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You all, thank you, and thank you, moderators. Thank you all for your comments. Love you.